I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about infinite series. In problem number 37, we'd like to evaluate the series 3 times the sum, k going from 0 to infinity, of negative pi raised to the negative k, or state that that series diverges. So the first thing I want to do in this problem is I want to rewrite this series a little bit. Uh, the form of the series isn't the easiest to work with. And so let's just rewrite this guy as 3 times the sum, k going from 0 to infinity, of, um, instead of writing negative pi to the negative k, I'll just write 1 over negative pi raised to the k. So instead of having that negative pi on top to the negative k, let's write it this way. I think in this way it's easier to see that this thing actually does converge. If you want to be a little bit more clear on this, you could write out a few terms of this thing uh, because this is something like 3 times. Well, if k was 0, I get 1. If k was 1, I get minus 1 over pi. If k was 2, I get plus 1 over pi squared minus 1 over pi cubed and so on. All right, and I can see right now that this guy is a geometric series. Every time I move to the next term, I multiply by negative 1 over pi. So what is the A in this geometric series? What is the R? The A is the first term of the series, which is 1. The r is what I multiply by every time to get to the next term of the series, which is minus 1 over pi. And so if I want to sum this up, I guess the first question is, does it converge? Is the absolute value of r less than 1? Well, pi is bigger than 1, so 1 divided by pi is less than 1 in absolute value. So this thing is going to converge. And what it's going to converge to is the following. This is going to be 3 times, well, it's a over 1 minus r. In other words, it's 3 times a, which is 1, over 1 minus r. r is negative 1 over pi. So this is equal to 3 times... 1 over uh, 1 plus 1 over pi. 1 plus 1 over pi, 1 is pi over pi. Uh, so pi over pi plus 1 over pi is pi plus 1 over pi. So let's write it that way. So this is 3 times 1 over pi plus 1 over pi. So I could take that fraction, flip and multiply, and what I'd end up with here is 3 pi divided by pi plus 1. So uh, what I can say to finish off this problem is this series converges, and it converges to 3 pi over pi plus 1.